Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Satisfactory. Let's get right to it. Now, last episode, I think I lied and said I was going to research a hard drive ahead of time. I didn't, so let's go get that going. That is scanning. What did I do between episodes? I believe, it's been a while, but I believe I produced some gunpowder. We have that set up. Now, we have the uh, black powder set up up on the hill there. You can see it. All the storage. <laughs> I can see the storage right in the distance. We'll have to wall up that factory like all the others. But I did run some production of uh, not color cartridges, but these novelisks. Let's grab these. Put them in the inventory. I actually played with a couple of these uh, off camera. To see where they are in the inventory or how our inventory looks. We've got a bunch of biofuel. We got a bunch of black powder. We've got 38 obelisks. And I was just kind of manually crafting those or semi manually through here. I don't have um I don't have containers set up to feed this line. I was just kind of doing an ad hoc. We may set up something to produce these automatically for us. A separate little mini factory or something. We'll see how many we end up using. Uh, what did I do? <clears throat> I blew up some rocks nearby. We can see that. And then I started to take out those, um, those poison plants. Don't we have some? Where are they? I thought it was down here. Nope. Where are they? Where are they? It's down this way, right? Let's head down here. Whoops. I think it was down here. I started to take out some poison plants. Looks like we've got a power slug down there. We might just want to see if we can platform down here. Now, I don't know what the story is down here. If there's much for us to explore, if there's a whole bunch or not a lot. Let's see. Let's spend a little time doing that. Seeing if we can get in that area. Got tons to do. Update 5 is not yet in experimental as I record this. I mean, not yet in the EA branch as I record this. So we're going to hold off on that. I'm not sure what triggered that poison plant there to, to start blowing. There must be... There must be a critter over there. Maybe a doggo or something. I don't think I triggered that. We're going to head over and try and blow it up. Let's, uh, let me switch to my little exploder guy. And we will experiment with this a little bit. We've got, can I get over here safely? Probably not. I'm going to just go for the gold here. I think I do right click it. Oh, let me get out of the way. That thing, it is... Not sure if I actually dropped one or didn't. I don't think I did. Now that guy, I don't know that he'd spawn the poison. Let's drop that down. Back away. And then how do I detonate again? Oh, I forgot. Is it Z? No. Where is the detonate on the Nobelisk? Thing. It's probably right in front of me. We dropped one down. It's sitting right there. We can see it in the distance. They're right under my crosshairs. Oh, what was the control for this? X. Escape. Enter. Nope. Um. E. Primary click. Right click. There it is. Right click takes it out. All right, so that's one more gone. Let's reload and take out that poison plant right across the way. Actually got a uh, paleberry here. I've never been, I guess I haven't been over this area because of these poison plants. Let's drop this one down. Sorry, buddy. That's the end of that. And then is there a way into that tunnel? Now, I don't know if this tunnel, if there's just nothing to it, if it's like a waste of time. 
thought there was another way to get into that. Let me just scan around here and see. Otherwise, we can, I don't know, drop a ladder or platform down. We can blow up these rocks as well. I did clear some of the rocks where we have our, tr um, our tractor route. So I did clear some. We didn't need to. The tractor seems like it's running fine wherever it is. Let's see if we can catch a glimpse of that guy. Way off in the distance there. Hopefully it's not stuck. Doesn't look good, does it? Looks like it's just sitting. Is it stuck? Huh. Here's to be, right? It's turning its wheels. Now, I don't know if that has glitched. Or what's going on with that. It is turning its wheels. It should have fuel. I'm just going to check the fuel situation. It doesn't have fuel. Why wouldn't it refuel? Let's see. Boy, we're doing all kinds of distracting things here. This guy has no fuel. Did we not provide fuel for this? Or did they burn through it? Let's add a bunch. Maybe they are burning through this pretty quick. Biofuel may not go that far. I'm going to just throw some fuel in the back of this guy. And then off that goes. Yeah, so I cleared out some of the rocks in the pathway here. I'm not sure how important that is or not. But we did it. Let's head back over to where these poison plants are and see if we can... Uh, Get down into that cave just for the heck of it. Thought there was another way to get into that. Could be wrong. Get down here. Oh, check it out. We've got some fractured rock here. I didn't realize this was here. At least I forgot. Let's use this. Boom. I think, will it stick? Yeah, it sticks. Back up. Hit the right mouse. Boom. Oh, I should have a weapon at the ready. Ooh, looks like I'm going to have to do more than just one blast. What do we have down here? We have leg. A little bit of save leg there. Not a big deal. Okay, Mercer Sphere. Kind of boring at this point. I think that's going to be part of the story. When they uh, implement the story in Satisfactory. In the meantime, I can grab some of these bacon agaric things. Uh, let's see. Anything else here? Is this just dead end? Dead end... I think I mentioned last episode, I'm not sure, you know, how extensive the caves get. I've been a little underwhelmed, if I'm honest. Guess we can blow this up, right? I don't know that we need to, but we'll do it. Ooh, the texture on that's kind of strange. All right. Yeah, maybe we leave that one there. I don't even know that... We need to have just a hole that we're going to end up having to patch. Yeah, I don't know how extensive the caves get in the game. Okay, now I'm trying to find my way back to where those poison plants are in the cave. I was kind of hoping for some pretty extensive cave systems to go through with... Uh, Lots of stingers or things to have to deal with, but I haven't seen it yet. I guess we can try to go down there. Is it safe or are we going to get ourselves in trouble? I have no idea and I'm not sure what I should be doing to get down there. Let's, uh, let's see if I can drop a novelist down in that plant from here. It 
looked successful. Boom, not bad. I do the same thing. It looks like there's a actual uh, load. If I hold down the primary mouse button, it looks like I get some throwing range. Okay, let's uh, right click. Not bad. That worked out just exactly how I wanted. We will platform down there. Before we do, let's go take a quick look at the um, at the hard drive research. I'm really anxious to get the compacted coal. I know we need that recipe. Let's go see what they gave us or what our choices are. Ma'am is over here. All right. I don't see compacted coal. All right, what do we got? We've got a recipe here where we can use iron ore plus copper ore, get ingots. And that's in the smelter produced in the foundry. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, that's basically using iron and creating copper out of it. That's kind of good. I like that a lot. Oh, iron wire. We talked about this one too. This is the same kind of thing. You can turn iron ingots into copper wire. That might help us get more. Um, is it the staters? I can't remember what we have that's kind of slow. And we talked about maybe pumping some more copper wire, or regular wire, into our copper factory to speed up production. This would be a way of using some of the iron that's nearby. And turning it into wire. Same thing over here. I might have to, I'm going to have to look up and see which one's better. Then we got an alternate blueprint here for the stitched iron plate. This is just the opposite. This is using copper. Potentially copper. I suppose you could combine it with this one. And it would still be iron. But this is using wire in lieu of, I think, the bolts maybe. Or the screws. Lew the screws to make the iron plates. The reinforced iron plates. Um all right. I'm gonna go check the wiki and see what's recommended out of these three. They all look pretty good, actually. Um this one on the far right, I think I would hold off on until we had this one. But I'm not sure which of these two is better. They both look pretty good to me. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I think I checked. I took a look at what the wiki said. Uh, nothing too surprising. It said they were a little less enthusiastic about the copper alloy ingot. Um, it's still good, but I guess there is a pure copper or something. There's a different kind of derivative of this that's a little more effective. I think I'm going to go with the iron wire. Let's grab that. We could make use of that right away if we wanted to. And this is, good, like I said, going to allow us to use iron mines and get copper out of them. At least copper wire. So let's grab that one. Boom. That's it for the hard drives. I don't think I have any more to research. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything else in this chain? No. We saw this last episode, I think. I still need to get rubber. And then uh, we need these circuit boards. All right, let's go, let's take a detour and let's see if there's anything to, uh, anything to discover where the, those poison plants were. We can kind of hop down into this cave area. I don't know if I should just jump on down or if I should do a ladder or ramp. I'm not sure what the, uh what the best way is to get down here. Can I even do a ladder? I can try. Let's, uh, I'm going to jump into here. Where is this? Can I do a ladder on this thing? Doesn't, I might need a foundation, right? Let's try. Let's try a foundation first. Like I said, I don't know entirely what I'm doing or what's down here. This is worth the time or not, but let's check it out. Can I clip a ladder on here? Is this going to work? God, I'm 
I'm horrible with ladders. We'll try. I don't have a jetpack either. But it could be clever getting back on. Oh, not comfortable <laughs> with these guys. Uh, are you going to let me down? Nope. Okay. I was able to run back to it. Yeah, I need to practice the technique or something between episodes on climbing ladders. And uh, placing enough of them, apparently. Oh, oh man, that hurt. And we got a buddy here. Oh, that's it. That is it. We need to uh, respawn, unfortunately. Ugh. Oh, man, did we lose some stuff, too, right? Did I lose my whole inventory? Oh, man. <laughs> that's horrible. Let me uh, throw up here in the toilet. What? <laughs> All right. Well, that may be the last time you see me use a ladder on the uh, Let's Play here. Oh, man, that's annoying. All right. Let's, rather than reload the save, rather than take the easy route, let's just uh, entertain, entertain the thought of kind of getting us a Z... Uh, thrasher and kind of working our way back well we may not but we'll see let me just think about it xeno basher this is the one we want i need modular frames a xeno zapper i need iron rods reinforced plates cables and wire oh gosh um Oh man, that's frustrating. And I need to recover my health as it is. Uh, I may, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just, <laughs> I'm gonna load the autosave. All right, I reloaded a save. Let's uh, heal up. And let's try to see if we can platform our way down here. Okay, our poison plants have been disabled, or they're gone at least. I think I can walk down this a little bit. Our slug there. Let's, um, yeah, let me see. Boy, let me see how I can do this. The ladders are just no good for me. Trying to think through what the best way is to get down there. Um, change hot bars. Try this. I uh, should be using this seven probably. This guy is a little bit. Bear with me. Just looking around, because I know there's stuff to grab along the way, like that little power slug. You can probably... Ch Kill that poison plant. Hmm. Why is it not letting me? There we go.
Nice and easy. <laughs> Look, this is going to go a little slower than it could, but I just, man, those ladders, I just cannot make, make it work. I fall every time. Just about every time. That's not fun for me. All right. Yes, once we get down there, we can do some more exploring. See if we can make it down further. Okay, I hear I hear buddies scurrying around. Not sure what I'm looking at down there. It looks interesting, whatever it is. Yes, we can throw one of these down there if we can. Clear our view. Saving. Definitely hear our stinger buddy down there. Don't see it yet, but I can hear it. Oh, check it out. There's some kind of deposit there. Maybe. Okay, that's interesting. Wow. It's going to be interesting to access that. Still don't see our stinger. I hear it. Don't see it. I'm afraid he's going to be right on us as we're uh, building down here. Okay, we got one accidental platform there. I get. Okay, there he is. Where she is. Hmm. Let's reload. Let's just try this for the heck of it. See if we can get... Everybody to walk down there. We, I don't know if that was successful. I don't think so. I hear it. <laughs> I hear it. All right. We can get a little closer. All right. Let me just, uh, All right, I'm fully charged. Scroll, I gotta scroll up to get my berries. I think we're gonna jump down and go for it here. Here he comes. Okay, we got him. Took a little damage, but we got him. Go ahead and recharge up. Okay, we made it down here at least. Let's keep our wits about us. I bet there's 
more buddies coming. Okay, that was pretty fast to take care of. Probably another little guy coming up here. Just kind of clearing the area first. Then we'll go look at the resources. Guys are playing tricks on me. I thought I saw something a little bit further down here. Over on the left, but maybe not. Mycelium, probably, if we saw that up. Okay, poison tubes. I can't blow those up. Here comes some little guys. Okay, that guy ran away. Not too much problem from those two. Yeah, I can't do anything with these tubes. I'm pretty sure I can't blow those up or do anything, really. Um, I guess once we get a gas mask, we could run through there. There may not be much to see. Anyway, this is just a node, right? So far, I don't really need it. Um, I don't know if there's... If it's worth climbing the sides of these wall cave walls here and seeing what's up there. It's hard. Hard to know what to do. Mycelia, I guess we can grab this and make, um, we make the fabric out of this stuff and then the parachutes or the, yeah, parachutes, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to say climbing up the walls is probably worth investigating, but I'm not sure if it's going to be so fun to watch on a Let's Play if there's nothing up there. But, so I'm going to leave that. Or later, possibly never. Let me know in the comments if there's something up there I should be exploring on these ledges. Let's head back the other path. I don't think there's much here except for nodes. We've got all the Caterium we need. We've got Caterium mines. I'm just looking up there. Is there? That's interesting. This little, right where my crosshair is. Yes, it's just stone. It almost looks like a little door around this way. I don't think we've got buddies to worry about. Uh, quartz. We've got plenty. Okay, let's head this direction. We're going to have to get our... Whoops. Let's first have this guy handy in case we get jumped. And once we get close to the uh, poison plants, we can throw novelists. But let me make sure first we don't have someone that's going to kind of rush us. I think we're okay. Looks like we're good. Okay, how many of these do I have left? I got... I don't know. Okay, this is the Sam ore. I'm not sure what the use is for this yet. Or if there is even a use for it yet. But we found it at least. We know where it's at. Uh, let's switch back to our buddy here. Grab the summer sloop. Boink. Clear that out for visibility for the most part. Another little sulfur node. Don't really need that. I'm guessing that is it. I said there may be a reason to climb up the walls. Oh, did I just glitch? Bad, bad luck with trees, man. Yeah, I just glitched into the tree. It's happened more than a few times. Let me get the chainsaw out and just... 
can glitch myself. Yeah, I glitch in the trees in this game pretty regularly. What is that? Oxite. Uh, that I will grab. I'm not sure what we need this for. I'm not sure that we've come across the bauxite deposit. So I'll grab this. This may help us unlock something in the MAM. I have no idea. But I will grab that ore just because we don't have it. A ton of it laying around. I think we've done it pretty much as far as exploring this. Like I said, if there's a reason to go up on the ledges, let me know. I don't think that rock's hiding anything. We could blow it up, but... No, I think we saw there's no real way out of here. Unless we go through these tubes. I don't think we can make it through there very easily. I don't want to take a chance. I think it just... Yeah, I don't know. Well, let's look at the map. Can I tell from the map where I'm at? Cave to explore. Huh? production site yeah I'm not sure that there's much else I wish we could blow these things up I really do I could platform over them or I could try and get up on this wall I'm sure it's worth doing should be try it suppose I can try it let's try getting up there just for the heck of it um, I go high enough, probably not. Could we do try and get up there I guess just thinking about getting on these cliffs and then kind of walking off to the left and maybe escaping those poison tubes but I'm not sure I've got an easy way to get up there that's kind of what I'm doing now is a little a little more tedious during a let's play to do this because I just don't know if it's going to turn out to be anything or just nothing can't seem to get the height that I need here. Um, what is that texture there? That is bizarre, right? This... What is this? That looks interesting to me. We've not seen that yet. I don't know if that's the edge of the map or I'm, I'm supposed to blow through that. I'm going to try to blow through it. And this little adventure looks like it's going to end. I don't have anywhere to really to walk that way. I'm going to try to blow up this, whatever this is. Get a little safer area before I blow up.
See if that did anything. I have a feeling it didn't. Yeah, I don't know what this is. An interesting texture in the side of the cave. I'm intrigued, but I don't know what I can do with it. Apparently not nothing. I can't blow it up. I can't cut through it. And I don't think I can get over these tubes. Just keep an eye on her health here. Oops, doesn't like it. Alright, let's heal up. We made it through to the other side. I think this is just going to open up to a place we've already been. And that's just fine, but let me grab this guy. This looks a little familiar. I think I've been through here before. Yeah, there's the bottom of our factory. Look at that. Is this the steel? I feel like this is like our steel factory area. Yeah, it is. All right. Well, we've done that cave. We can call it done. I just got to trek back. What did we get? We found a SAM ore deposit. That may be useful to us later on. I'm not sure what that's for, but we found it <laughs> anyway. And we've uh, explored one more cave or a cave. Let's get back to the hub and decide what we want to do next. We know we've got fueling issues here. I probably need to drop off more fuel. Oh, look at the tractor just knock that guy down. <laughs> I've tried to avoid doing that, but I can't stop my tractors from doing it. Like I said, I blew up some rocks along here. There's still a bunch more laying around, but I, most of the ones in the main path I got rid of. Like I said, there's a few. I'm not going to waste Nablus on those right now. Let's get back to the hub. In fact, we'll, we'll go to the manual uh, novelisks processing that I've got set up and just load another hundred black powder in there, whatever. Grab whatever novelisks have been produced. Eventually, I'll set something up to do that automatically. I can turn off my flashlight here. So let's head back here. We'll load this guy up, like I said. More black powder, more steel pipes. I may need to grab steel pipes at some point. Then we'll just grab these 20 novelists out of there. And now we got to think what we, what we want to do. We did the um, black powder. We've got a bunch of that being stored up. What is next? I think we talked about, was it just motors? Whoops. I know we need rubber motors. Boy, we only need a few more to unlock this. We could handcraft these. All right. All right. But we're going to need these later on. We need to get these automated, basically. The motors. I don't have those anywhere. Let's see what they... Yeah, let's see what they take. Take stators, which we know are... Or no, they take rotors... Those are all iron. We may need to spin up another factory for that. That that may be what ends up happening here. And then, oh, we need steel pipes. Steel pipes. And wire. For stators. Oh, we're making these. I say, oh, we're making these because... We just unlocked the recipe for the wire, right? To turn iron into wire. 
We've got two iron deposits sitting right outside of our steel factory, and that's where obviously the steel pipes are being created. So we could hook up those two iron deposits that are sitting outside of our steel mill. Use our alternate recipe to convert that iron into wire and then do the stators over in that factory instead of where we're doing them or in addition to where we're doing them. Right now we've got stators, that tractor that we're seeing zipping back and forth. I think that's the one that's bringing the, um, the steel pipes over. Is that right for our stators? Uh, let's go through here. Just take a look. That's ore coming in. Oh no, that's delivering. Hmm. This is our iron plant, by the way. Let's see. We need to come down over here and see. Do we have... Where are our stators? Oh, yeah, we're piping pipes. <laughs> Not piping. We're belting pipes across here. Right. Boy, that line looks kind of anemic, too. Oh, man. Lots to do. Lots to do. Okay, we're doing stators here. And is this the line that we said was the slowest? You have to forgive me. Once We'll get signs here in Update 5, too, and I can put signs on this stuff. A little easier. Yeah, these are the stators. Wire does not look like it's a problem, at least not here in these early machines. It looks like it's actually the pipes are lagging now. Do these guys even have... No. So steel pipes are the long pole for us. Uh, that storage is definitely going to be empty. We've got a bunch of stators here. So let's look again for motor. That's what we need to make. We've got stators here. We could export them to a new factory. And rotors, rotors, rotors. Are we producing rotors at our iron factory? I don't think we are. I think we have those way out there, like straight ahead, right? We have rotors being produced. There's a bunch of iron deposits over there, I think. I think there's at least four over there. We've got an iron factory over here that could be producing those. And we could run a conveyor, an elevated conveyor, across these factories to bring the stators over to the iron factory and then build the motors right there. It's just rotors are slow, so we would need to augment this iron factory. Let's go take a look over there. I know we're doing some planning. Someday I gotta get around to looking at the hypertubes too. Oh, lots to do. Let's take a quick look over here. Because we've got two iron deposits we're not using way over by the hub, right? That was our very first mines. We're no longer using them. We've got two mines bringing in iron right now. These aren't even... Look at these. are They're kind of hesitating. But we've got potentially issues here to deal with. To figure out where the backup is. Uh, could be we're just some... Yeah, some places just aren't using... The iron. Well, well, well. What could we do? This is our smelting floor. I'm just looking to see how we would scale this up. We could 
definitely extend this and even smelt some more. And or redirect some of this overflow. These uh, backed up steel, uh, iron beams, iron ingots could be routed somewhere, right? We've got excess capacity here. It's not being used. And then we've got a factory next door <laughs> as well that we haven't that we haven't used. Oh man, we've got a few options. We're gonna probably wrap this episode up. I'll do some thinking between episodes, but another option we've got is to run that iron. You can see straight away, you can barely see at the very center of the screen, there is a conveyor lift that's bringing iron ore up, but it's not hooked up to anything. We could bring that across and create a factory that is basically just focused on doing the, um, the rotors. Let's go. Let's take a look again at the recipe for the motor. Rotors. Staters. Yes, yeah, these are the ones that are a little tough because they require the coal. Uh, I'd like to... I guess keep those staters here. We could do... We could do rotors in their own factory next door and then like I said run we could either run an elevated belt over there man all right I'm gonna wrap this episode here I'm gonna give it some thought again our options are rotor factory here and then bring st staters over and build the motors there we could just bring that iron ore into this iron factory and make it bigger. And then just add floors and do everything here. Do the use of the stators and the rotors here to make the motors right in this facility. And just pipe in some more iron if we even need it. And then our other option is way off in the distance. I don't see it now, but probably behind this thing. We got a deposit there to get to. Look at there's rocks to blast. We need to go up there and see what that's all about. Um, but behind this thing is our smart plating factory. We could look at doing rotors. We're making rotors out there already. We could look at upgrading that whole plant, that whole factory, upgrading the smart plating that we're producing, rework that whole factory. Is it? Kind of needs it. And there's a ton. Uh, is that it right ahead? Straight ahead here. There is a ton of iron out this way. Let's go look real quick. I know I'm dawdling. We're not going to build anything. So if you want to sign off here, go for it. I'm going to go drive over there real quick though before I end the episode. And just take a look. At where we're doing the smart plating and the rotors right now. I think that could be significantly scaled up. And that factory is kind of what I would call like a 1.0 design. It's one of the very early factories that we built. So it could be scaled up. But I'm just curious how much resource is over here that we could tap into. Okay, I see two miners here. There's two iron deposits right there. And then I think there's more just over this hill, right? I get down here safely-ish. Oh, we had some right nearby. Maybe not. Oh, right here. Got three. Right, what are these? Normal. Three normal iron deposits. What we could do. We could do, hmm, we could do it here. We don't have any coal nearby. We want to do everything here. But yeah, this factory. 
Not sure what this big rock is I'm standing on. Limestone nearby. This factory is pretty slow. It's pretty, pretty bad, actually. Needs to be redone. I think down here we have rotors and we're sending them up over there. Okay, right, let's see. Pardon my horrible jumping here. Right? There's our rotors. But it's just... This is just not set up well. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I like it for what it was when it was, but it needs to evolve like the rest of our factories. And then up here, we're doing the smart plating. It's actually backed up. I'm surprised. This belt is super anemic. When we clear the inventory, it is super duper slow. There's some rotors backlogged, and then here's some uh, smart plating. This is kind of a waste. Wondering if we should just redo it over there. Anyway, I'll give it some thought between episodes. For now, this is GliderCat signing off, saying thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.